theories about the background of, of what the horses are doing there are, are vague at best. Um, I think it's generally believed that, they've, that they were bought by ship from Europe in the 17th century and have been sort of brought up and bred there since. But then another part of the theory is that they were left there by the Germans, um, I think after the First World War. So they've been sort of wandering in the desert alone since then. Um, and because of the, the amount of time they've been there, completely on their own, completely isolated, they've developed into their own breed. They're called the Namibs, um, but they are a breed unto themselves, a bit, a bit like the Mustangs, really, in, of, of North America. When I saw the picture on the computer after I'd taken it, I was also thinking about um, a fabulous painting in the National Gallery of a horse. It's called Whistle Jacket, and it was painted by Stubbs in, I think, 1762. Um, and it's just this amazing horse sort of rearing up, but it's got a perfectly plain background. And it's always struck me how effective that is. It just, you really concentrate on the horse itself. It's all more sort of formalised, it becomes more of a study of the horse itself. So I, I stole that basically, that approach, um, and cut out the horse from its background to make it more of a study, to make, it, to make you concentrate more on the subject itself um, rather than the background.